Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to port a project from Game Maker 7, Game Maker 8 or Game Maker 8.1 to Game Maker Studio. Before start, let me tell you that the success or failure of this operation will depend on your project's complexity and size. There are several functions that are now obsolete, triggers, room transitions and many others. Also you'll have to pay close attention to the use of extensions, particularly if you're using dynamic link library files or just DLLs. For this tutorial I'll use my platform game project in order to deal with a real-life case, but remember, the more complex the project, the more work you'll have to do to get it properly port to GameMaker Studio. So let's begin. Okay, first, let's import our project. In my case, I have my project here, and then in filter let's choose the, the type of project you're going to load. In my case it's a Game Maker 8.1 project and here it is. Okay, let's import it and uh, now I have to wait a few seconds and then I'll have my project loaded into Game Maker Studio. Let's, let's wait a few seconds. And uh, it's done. Well, the first thing I'll do is just pl play the game. And it seems I have uh, a few problems with these resource names. First, background name, level template is invalid. The problem here is that I have to use an underscore here and now it's fixed. Now the second problem with background name 64 by 64 grid is invalid. The problem here is that the resource name uh, should not start with a number so let's modify it. Uh, not this one. And now it's fixed. And the last problem is with this room, Tile Collision Detection Test. Well, the problem here is that I can use spaces. So I'll replace these spaces with underscores. And it's done. Now let's run the game again and I got just one compile error. Really lucky. Well the problem here is unknown function or script execute string. The problem here is the execute string function is now obsolete. It's no longer available and the only thing I can do about the, this problem is just command this line out. The only thing I can do is this. Uh, let's run the game now. It's going to take a while. It's building the binary file. And um, well, it seems I got only one compile error. It d this depends on your project size and complexity. It's, it's not the same case for every project, as I said before. So you should take that into account. It's taking a while, and there it is. It worked. Well, in this case, 
it was really easy uh, it worked just fine okay so there you have it uh, I have to say that I was really lucky here really because there were just a few errors here and there but it took me just 10 minutes more or less to get my project working in Game Maker Studio. You should consider the size and complexity of your project before you start this porting task. If you get 100 or even 1000 of errors and depending on the size of your project, perhaps it could be a better idea to start from scratch directly in Game Maker Studio. But that's up to you to decide. So, okay, I hope you find this video useful. And as always, I hope to see you in my upcoming video tutorials. Bye.